Hello again guys! It's me, RN Clang. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. For those who know me as Leishal or Late Chal, bakit nga ba RN Clang? Well, alam naman natin, RN means registered nurse. So, hindi ko na kailangan paliwanag yun. And Clang is my nickname ever since the world began. But then, I just wanted not to be called Clang anymore when I was in high school or college because those are my teenage years. And, well, teenage years, you're being particular about something or you're being shy about everything. But baka nag english <laughs> Kasi na, the greetings tayo ng English, guys. Kaya tuloy ako napapa-English dito. But anyway, guys, the reason why you're watching this video in the first place, dahil gusto nyong malaman, kung paano nga ba ako napunta ng UK. Actually, guys, sumakay lang talaga ako ng aeroplano. Nandito na ako sa UK. <laughs> But kidding aside, um, hindi ko naman talaga plinano na mag-UK. I really wanted to stay in the Philippines, build up my own business, or mag-nurse na ako sa Philippines if makahanap ako ng maganda-gandang uh, mapapasukan with the good salary. But then, one of my cousins encouraged me to come to UK kasi ang sabi niya, maganda yung benefits, maganda yung at least makapasyal-pasyal na din. Since yun naman talaga ang one of the reasons why andito ako, yung pagka-travel. And nahikayat naman ako guys na pumunta ng UK. Nag-try lang akong mag-exam for IELTS. And then, I did not expect that I will pass it. At first take, actually, ang nakuha ko, guys, is 777, 6.5. 7 for reading, 7 for listening, 7 for um, speaking, and 6.5 for writing. Actually, bags bagsak ang 6.5, guys, dun sa standard ng UK. But then, a year later, nung nandun na ako sa Saudi Arabia, because I went back to Saudi Arabia after that, Nagpasa sila ng bagong standard, which is 7776.5. And in-include nila yung mga valid pa ang IELTS. Kasi ang IELTS, guys, valid siya for 2 years. And napasama ako dun sa mga lucky ones na nakakuha ng 6.5. Kaya, guys, um, that time, nag-start na ako na mag-apply-apply or mag-upload ng resume ko sa internet. And then, I uploaded mine sa work abroad. So, yun nga guys, after a month kong na-upload yung CV ko sa work abroad, Miss Jo contacted me. Miss Jo is my agent here in the UK. Contacted me and asked me if I wanted to work as a nurse sa care home. And I said yes, agad-agad. And then, she is the one who guided me to taking CBT and to registering with NMC. NMC, guys is yung registration body nila dito sa UK. It's like PRC in the Philippines. It's a counterpart here in the UK. Uh, hindi pa ako nakakapag-CBT nun. CBT is the exam you have to take before you enter UK. So, there are two exams already. First is IELTS, and then CBT. CBT is a computer-based test where your knowledge about medications, about how safe you are as a nurse, yun lang naman talaga yung um, itatest nila sa'yo. It's a simple examination that you don't have to worry about, you don't even have to review, kasi yung stock knowledge mo guys, sapat na. And more on human rights talaga siya. So, gano mo nga ba nire-respect yung rights ng isang tao? Yun yung ina-assess nila dun sa CBT exam. So, it's not a very complicated exam. After that, nung umuo na ako kay Miss Jo, sinabi niya sa akin na you will be having interview. So, agad-agad siya. You will be having interview with um, the manager of the care home and the sister of the owner. So, and they are very considerate with timing and date, guys. Kasi, ikaw mismo yung tatanungin nila kailan ba yung preferred date mo or time mo for the interview. So, nagsabi lang ako ng date and time. Natapos na yung interview. Ano nga ba yung sinabi ko sa interview? Wala naman masyado. Tinanong, tinanong lang nila yung knowledge ko about uh, peg feeding, nasogastric feeding. Um, ano pa ba yung mga tinanong nila sa akin nun? Simple questions, guys, sa nursing. Gusto mo bang mag-work with adults? Meron ka bang idea about dementia and all? 
And um, one more thing na tinanong nila sa akin is, meron ka bang relative dito? And I said, yes, my cousin is there. And I want to go and visit her sometimes. And they told me na malayo ang Wales dun sa place which is Nottingham. Nandito, nandito nga ako sa Nottinghamshire ngayon. So, okay lang ba sa'yo, sabi nila, na mag-travel ka papunta sa cousin mo because it will be three hours train. Sabi ko, wala pong problema as long as makapunta po ako dyan. I will work my way. And then, sabi nila, okay. And then, I was hired. After that, guys, Um, pre-prepare na ako ni Ma'am Jo for the CBT. Nag-send siya ng review material sa email ko uh, for the CBT. And then, she told me to register my name with NMC. Mabilis lang yun, guys. You just type NMC. And then, with NMC registration, they will ask you basic questions. Your name, your address, your... They will ask about the school where you graduated. And then, they will ask about the IELTS result. Hindi sila maghahanap ng proof, guys. It is all based on honesty. So, kung ano man ang ilagay mo doon, malalaman at malalaman din nila yan kung totoo or hindi. Pag nag-upload ka na later on, pag napasa mo na yung CBT at tatapusin mo na yung application mo, pag nag-upload ka na later on ng mga documents mo. And then, after passing your CBT exam, meron ulit silang tinatawag na decision letter. They will ask you to upload different documents yung um, diploma mo nung nag-graduate ka ng college, yung IELTS result mo, yung um, NBI clearance mo, yung license mo. So, those things, guys. But I don't think na meron pang decision letter ngayon kasi nagbago na naman sila ng standard. As long as you have those documents documents with you, hindi, sila, hindi na ata sila maghahanap ng proof. So, after that, guys, yung IELTS mo, dapat valid pa siya within 2 years na nag apply ka so you can use that for application of UK visa so after everything guys, after all my exam nag-exam ulit ako ng IELTS kasi invalid na yung IELTS exam ko nung nakawin ako ng Pilipinas so my so yun nga guys, ang dilim na bigla <laughs> Dumilim na siya bigla. Inabot na ako ng gabi ng pagbablog. And then, hindi na din mainit yung kape ko. So, I'll just microwave that later. Microwave! <laughs> anyway, guys. So, yun nga. As I was saying, nag-take ulit ako ng IELTS ko. Kasi, um, two years na nung tinake ko yung IELTS ko na first, bago ako nakauwi ng Pilipinas. So, I had to take another... IELTS examination for my visa application. But at that time, hindi ko na kailangan ng 7776.5. Ang kailangan ko na lang i-meet is 4444, which is for visa application. So, hindi na naging problema sa akin ang pagtitake ng IELTS. Um, hindi na nga ako nag-review. I just had a refresher. Parang refresher na lang kung ano ba yung nangyayari dun sa exam. Two days before ng exam ko. And that's the, that's the reality, guys. And napasa ko naman siya. Thank God, I've had Um, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, and 7 score for my IELTS, last IELTS exam. And when I was in the Philippines already, and everything's ready, meron akong police clearance from Saudi Arabia, meron akong NBI. Um, nirefer na ako ni Miss Joe sa sister company nila sa Philippines, which is, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, Amzayon. Pero, kung gusto nyo mag-apply sa ibang ibang agency or kung gusto nyo yung dumiretso sa POEA for application walang problema. At least makakapili din kayo for hospital. Kasi ang Zion only caters yung mga home cares. And hindi sila nagpapadala ng nurses to UK na mag-work as a nurse sa NHS. And NHS naman guys is parang yung government hospitals nila dito sa UK. So cut, to cut everything short um, first is kailangan mo muna kumuha ng IELTS mo kahit hindi ka muna maghanap ng agency mo that time. Kailangan mo muna mag-review. Um, take your time. Uh, huwag mong i-pressure yung sarili mo. English lang yan, guys. Pero kailangan mo pa din mag-review. And uh, it's up to you kung ke kailangan mo. I-assess mo yung sarili mo kung kailangan mo ng review center. But as for me before, I didn't um, uh, do review center simply because 
wala akong pera pang review center, guys. <laughs> Kaya, nag-review-review na lang ako for myself. Parang nag-search-search na lang ako sa internet, YouTube-YouTube, ganun. So, hindi ako masyadong gumastos for IELTS. And that is the whole month ng bakasyon ko noon from Saudi Arabia. Whole month, nag- Parang nag, hindi na talaga ako lumabas noon, hindi na ako nag-explore. Talagang doon na lang ako sa bahay, nag-review for IELTS. And then, thank God, at least may pinuntahan naman yung sacrifices ko. And so, that's IELTS. And then, after that, pag napasa mo na yung IELTS, pwede ka nang magpasa ng resume mo sa iba't ibang agencies kung saan mo man gusto. Or, para mas madali para sa'yo, mag-online ka na lang, which is work abroad. And may makikita ka na doon list of agencies. Kung gusto mo ng hospital, maghanap ka ng agency for hospital and then ipasa mo sa kanila yung resume mo. And then kung gusto mo naman ng care home, maghanap ka ng agency na nagki-cater ng care homes, which I did before. Kasi parang feeling ko kasi noon, hindi pa ako ready to work in hospital again. Kasi parang I felt na hindi sapat yung knowledge ko to work in a hospital. But guys, they are very supportive here. Kaya huwag kayong matakot na mag-work sa hospital kasi i-assess naman nila yung knowledge mo kung kaya mo, kung which department ka nila dadalhin. And they are very supportive here. Hindi sila racist. Hindi sila, hindi ka nila pababayaan. Meron di pa ding trainings bago ka nila isabak na mag-isa dun sa, um, dun sa, sa area mo. And after mo mapasa yung CV mo online at meron ka ng agent or meron ka ng agency, tutulungan ka nila, na nila kung ano yung mga sunod-sunod na process, kung ano yung mga exams na dama, dapat mo pang itake, kung ano yung mga documents na dapat mong isecure. So guys, mabilis lang. Within 4 months talaga nakapunta na ako dito after passing my CBT. So it's no trouble for me. Ako lang din yung nag-delay ng sarili ko sa pagpunta ko dito kasi... Ayoko pa nung pumunta agad-agad. I wanted to enjoy my family first sa Philippines kasi for four and a half years din akong nasa Saudi Arabia and gusto kong i-enjoy muna yung time ko with them kasi alam ko for sure pag nakapunta na ako dito sa UK baka matagal-tagal ulit bago ako magbakasyon. And I'm looking for like five years na pag-stay ko muna dito until makapag-permanent residency ako bago ako bumalik ng Philippines. So, that's it guys. Mabilis lang kung talagang i-aim mo siya. Mag-set ka lang ng goal mo. And then, huwag mong gulihin yung utak mo. Kasi, ang dami talagang choices. Ang daming doors na open ngayon for nurses. Merong Germany, merong Middle East, merong Dubai, which is part of the Middle East. And then, merong, you know, um, European countries. Merong UK nga. Meron ding Ireland, meron ding Australia. So, mag-set ka lang ng aim mo guys. Saan mo ba talaga gustong pumunta? And then, everything will follow. So, that's it guys for my vlog. I hope nakatulong to sa inyo ng kahit konti man lang. And if you have questions, just um, comment down below. And, yeah, I will answer you right away. Magsusunod na pagkikita. Paalam! <laughs>